and welcome back to DML. So today we are going to be hatching a new dragon, going through news about a new Dragon's Delight event and the rewards, new weekend events, the current boss challenge. We have a lot of stuff to get through today. So we will start off by hatching this adorable, perfect little dragon that I have been waiting years to have in my game. And I mean, even the egg itself is just mwah, bellissimo. I love it. Beautiful. I mean, it looks so ridiculous. He doesn't even have any arms. He just has wings. How dumb. So this trainer has never known a more social creature than the butterfly dragon. It even manages to charm the Vikings until they flee in terror from its devastating attacks. And to be fair, to go along with that, it does have a base attack of 70. And although it's not the strongest epic in the game, 70 is still quite high for an epic dragon. I mean, it's only like... 15 damage off the strongest dragon in the game, so that's actually really not that bad. So we will go and pop our little butterfly dragon over here. And so that marks dragon number 350 in this account, because I've sold off two of my others that used to be in the codex here. Then we've got the others that are in our Android account as well. So we've got loads of dragons at this point, but little hoppy... Really? You're gonna give it a name like Hoppy as well? Does it actually hop for its food? I don't think dragons with this body type do. Well, I guess a little bit. You're like, a little bit hoppy on the floor with its little legsies, but... <laughs> again, it's so stupid that it doesn't even have any arms. I feel bad for it. I guess it's kind of like giraffes. You know how they can't really reach for their food? They just have to depend on their necks to do everything. Oh, feels bad, man, but... Beautiful looking dragon, and again, I love it when they bring out brand new dragons that we've never seen before, or never had a chance to actually breed before, in situations like this. So, we got it, I'm happy, that is our dragon of the week done. So we will go and take him for a quick fight or two a little bit later on, but of course we've got the boss challenge event on, and we do have two weekend events on at the same time, the dinner time event with the red flower, and a VIP event with the Matriarch, which... I, I wish we could get more of this dragon, but we just don't have the space for it. But the more important thing, like I said, we have confirmation of a new Dragon's Delight event that is starting on July 5th. So that is not too far away from here, and it ends on July 9th, just before the new event comes out on the 9th. But... This is shown to us on the upcoming event schedule posted by the DML page, and the rewards from the Dragon's Delight event have been confirmed by Andrus himself on the forums. So, someone up here asked which dragons are the reward of Dragon's Delight event this time, and then he responded by saying, it's going to be an Independence Day themed event with the rewards being the Patriot and the Raptor Dragons. So... You might be thinking, wait, what the heck are these two dragons? I've never even heard of them before. And I wouldn't even put it past a lot of people, because these two dragons, the only time the raptor dragon has ever been revealed, as far as I'm aware, is during a gem spending event, which, you know, I'm not a fan of those gem spending events myself. And the patriot dragon, I don't think he has ever been available before. So these are two dragons that essentially we have never had the opportunity to get in game so these two will be coming out in the new dragon's delight event but the important thing to note is the fact that when they asked what the rewards would be andrus only named two dragons so does that mean that this new dragon's delight event is going back to the old version with only two rewards without the extra milestone reward i don't know I know, it's kind of weird, because the recent ones have all had three dragons as rewards, so I'm kind of intrigued, to say the least. Like, do we not have a, a low milestone reward dragon or something? I don't know, I'm sure we'll get more updates in the meantime, but I look forward to it. I do want to finish it, but of course, if the only way that we can get the final milestone is by beating everyone on the leaderboard, one of these dragons is still going to be very difficult to get. So, we do have that new Dragon's Delight event coming, but if you are interested in what is happening in the like upcoming week in general, the rest of all of that is on this little calendar that they've made. So, not a whole lot before July 5th with that Dragon's Delight event coming, but I mean, 
come on, what do you expect? We currently already have the boss challenge event ongoing. And now we're going to get a Dragon's Delight event in four days time. And then as soon as the Dragon's Delight event ends, we're going to be getting a brand new event that we've never even had before. So, like a lot of people have been saying, and myself, yes, the DML is sort of crazy at the moment. You know, just weekend events, other events, clan events, uh, God knows what else at this rate. Uh, Alright, it is time to go and do a quick fight with our little Hoppy here. So, he's like level 15. Let's go and fight the fight. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, level 16, 17, I'm sure we can handle it. So, where are you, Hoppy? All the way down here at the end. How depressing. And whatever, we'll put our Neon Dragon in again because we got him recently. And uh, sure, we'll pop the Burger Dragon in as well. Oh, maybe I should have put in another dragon that has the same body type as these two, just to have, like, a little theme going on. I guess if we're gonna think of any theme for these three here, we could be, like, they're colourful, they're bright, rainbow theme. Oh, ain't that just the sweetest? I mean, one of my favourite parts of the butterfly dragon, I'm not sure about you, is actually the little green and blue like, I don't even know, circles on its head. I just really like the way that they clash with the rest of its body. I oh, know, don't ask. It's just like very weird certain things that you know, just pique my interest. But I hope we don't die to these two right now. Oh, they both missed. Thank you for the victory, little, little Ruby and um, Typhoon Dragons here. I always forget dragon names, holy god. Like, I forget them, and it's like racking my brain trying to remember what their actual name is. It's so annoying. It's because there's so many of them now. It's like having to look into an encyclopedia, or like into a database. It's like, you go into the database, but then you've got like, time between searching for the item and actually finding it. That's like my brain. It's like I can feel myself looking through pages in my own head. Why is every dragon missing? Is he even going to get off and attack here? Come on. I have faith. Hit. Thank gosh. I was going to say, there's no way that he's just going to miss every attack, right? Typical boss dragons. You know, it happens a lot more often than you'd actually think. Which is why, even if you can't do a boss fight, or if you're like close to doing it but can't quite, I just say go into the boss fight, keep redoing it, because eventually they'll just miss, miss a bunch of times in a row. And look, even if I sort of complain about how many events we get, you've also got to remember that it's optional whether you actually want to partake in those events. You don't have to. And you got to think, just because you're not available to do something, that doesn't mean all the other players aren't. So, I wouldn't really want to take the opportunity away from other people that do enjoy, you know, weekly events and do enjoy Dragon's Delight events. Uh, what should we give to this person? Finish two quests from the to-do list? Sure. Yamaguchio, I hope you enjoy it. And, um, let's hope that one of our apprentices actually does, does, um, graduate for a change. If nothing else, I don't care about the current events, I just wish the mentoring and apprentice system would actually get, like, a mini overhaul or something, I don't know. No matter what, I'll complain about something anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And, apparently I need to do a clan quest, so... Uh... Sure, how about we conquer two mines on the map? That's simple enough. We get gold and food for doing certain side quests. Not these ones. But I can't be bothered to d use my Dragon Fury the way I'm supposed to. So I'm just going to use them both like this. And look, I know that Dragon Fury Essence is very, very valuable. But I can't be bothered to sit here and build it up. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I just can't. So there we go. That was like the most overkill mine fight I think I have literally ever done in my life. Feels bad. 
Uh, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, the Patriot and the Raptor Dragons are rare dragons. I'm happy we're going to have the chance to get them, but, you know, I, I do kind of want more info about the actual event itself, because why have we only been given two names? I don't know. Let me know what you think, at least, because obviously I'm just sort of talking to myself and can't really see what you say at the moment, but... I'm sure there's a lot of guessing that we could do, and we may be completely wrong, uh, and... I mean, normally we're sort of in the right ballpark when we make assumptions or, you know, guess about stuff, but... I don't know what's coming up, especially that 9th of July event. I have no idea what that is going to be. Plus, you got to remember that all of this, uh, like, Independence Day stuff and all the dragons and the Liberty Dragon, for example, they're all themed around Independence Day and that sort of thing. So it is a very American-themed thing going on right now. And uh, if you didn't know, I'm not American, so I don't really... I'm not really in tune with all the American sort of holidays or, you know, special events and such. Well, to be fair, I'm not even really in tune with the English ones, even though I live here. That's what I get for moving around so much, I guess. But a lot of people have been saying it. It's like, can't we just have more, like, really culturally themed events in future? Because, you know, like the Divine events, people loved... The divine events well most of the parts of the divine events because you know you get the strongest dragons in the game you get weird events that use different elements and function a little bit differently from normal stuff and the other thing is you get dragons that are themed around gods so obviously we've had greek stuff we've had the chinese divine event we've got the well what I'm predicting with like 98% certainty is going to be an Egyptian themed divine event. So, when's an Indian themed one coming out? I know that we've had stuff for the World Cup and we've had dragons like the Brazilian dragon. You know, the little green one with the Brazil flag on him. He's cool. I like stuff like that. I just like, you know... I like weird dragons, like I always say, but I do like stuff that really delves into other cultures as well. So seeing the American stuff, even though a lot of people say, that's so generic, we hear about America all the time, it's still pretty cool. So I can appreciate that. So if we can keep getting more dragons themed like that over time, I'd be a big fan of that. And I'm sure they will. You know, they've done plenty over time, it's just... Yeah, we've seen the Liberty Dragon before. The Rapture and the Patriot might be dragons that have never been released, but we have seen them before. They just never released them in an event for whatever reason before now. So, you know, we don't know what those other dragons are that have been released. Well, have been put into the game files, but aren't actually revealed to us yet in the latest update and the previous update as well. So... I imagine that we're probably going to get a lot of events with new dragons just getting flung at us left, right, and center. Maybe there actually is a third reward dragon in the Dragon's Delight event that Andrus just didn't tell us about because he's not allowed to yet. Who knows? I mean, for now, we're just stuck here contemplating and guessing. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. Don't be so negative about getting so many events, even if it is tiring and it feels over the top, just think about other players. Think about the players that couldn't log in this week, that are going to be able to log in during these new events. You know? What about them? They're probably going to be loving it, coming back and immediately having a new event thrown at them. But, you know, you've got to bear with me as well. If I sound weird, I am sorry. reason for that is, as per usual, as soon as I go outside anywhere for, like, longer than a quarter of a day, I just get, like, so ill. And is it hay fever? Is it literally just a cold? I don't know. I don't know. But, like, this morning, I had to record the, uh, the breeding guide for the Firestar Dragon, and holy god, that was painful. Because... 
Especially when I've just woken up or, you know, gotten up and then started traveling straight away. Holy jeez, my nose is so bad. It feels more blocked than a sewerage pipe that's had, like, literally bricks thrown into it. So, yeah, I, I, I feel really bad sitting here and, like, talking when it's pretty obvious that I'm very ill. But what can I do? What can I do? Just not record for like a week? And then I'll get sick again anyway? It's like a perpetual cycle. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I, I just have to... Maybe this is the new me. Maybe I will just always be sick. Maybe my new voice is me sounding more like a, an old dying woman's voice. Maybe I have solved it. Maybe that is the answer. But either way, you know, if you ever hear me say, I'm ill, I'm sorry if I sound weird, and, you know, everyone's going, are you gonna live stream quacks? I can't live stream when I'm really ill. Because, you know, it's fine me sitting here and being able to talk and then cutting every minute or so to cut out every time I do, like, the most horrendous sneeze in the world, but I can't sit there and do that during a live stream. It'd be so disjointed. Like, seriously, can you even tell how many times I cut during this video? I bet you don't. But you don't even know. See, that's where, that's where they get you. You can do anything with YouTube editing. You wouldn't notice now, but you definitely would during the live stream. So, again, I apologize to the many of you that were spamming me earlier. It's, I think it's like a group of people every time that are just like all friends and they go, Make her live stream or something. And, you know, I... I appreciate the fact that you're so dedicated to even care enough to do that. But look, I am serious when I say I really do want to more often, but I'm always ill. I, I don't do it on purpose, trust me. It just makes my life five million times more difficult than it needs to be. But it is in the works. I am planning on doing it. You know, we'll just deal with it for now. And you know what? Just while we're here at the end of the video, let's do a bonus breed, shall we? Of course, I'm going with the orange plus wind dragons. I could also use the academic plus fire, but the goal is, of course, to breed the fire star dragon. Will we get it? What do you think? Put your, place your bets right now. Yes or no? Yes or no? Alright, let's go! Okay, there was a very high chance that if you answered no, you were going to be correct. But, still, at least we did a, a bonus breed today. So, um, there's six gems wasted, but another attempt down the drain. But come on, it is only day one. What do you expect? You think I just get legendaries on my first breed every damn time? No! It's not how this works. But, anyway guys, for now, I appreciate you being here. And, of course, whenever we get new news, I will let you know what is going on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me, and until next time, I will see you then.